Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, for dinner tonight, we are having frozen pizza. We are having this Lotsa Matza Supreme Pizza that I picked up on a recent HEB haul. I'll link it in the description box, and it has sausage, excuse me, mushrooms, pepperoni, green and red peppers, and onions. And this pizza is known for having tons of cheese and it really does have a lot of cheese. I tasted a little piece of it and it is good. The crust is more of a thin crust type pizza. So if you're into that, you'll like it. And there are plenty of toppings on here and tons and tons of cheese. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having jerk pork. I had some boneless country style ribs in my freezer that I needed to use. So I cut them up into chunks, and then I use this Walker's Wood Jerk Marinade, which I have talked about before on our channel. For those of you that don't know, um, Howard is from Jamaica and this is what uh, his mother uses and so I just adopted it when I married him and it is really good. They have uh, hot and spicy and then they just have regular if you're not into hot and spicy but a little bit goes a long way and it is very very tasty. Serving it with some rice and peas which I recorded a video on how to make rice and peas it's been about five years ago, and so, so I'm gonna re-record the video, but if you want the recipe, I'll link it in the description box, and then I'm gonna uh, record an updated video here pretty soon. And then just serving a side salad, a side Caesar salad. So I've got the lettuce, croutons, I've got some green onions chopped in there, Parmesan cheese, and for the salad dressing, I'm just using this Ken's Steakhouse. So a oh, light, creamy Caesar. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled ribeye. I had some ribeye in my freezer from when they were on sale a while back ago. I just stocked up on them, and I think that was my last package of ribeyes. Um, but I grilled them with this Uncle Chris's Gourmet Steak Seasoning. It is a Texas brand. I'm not sure where else they sell this besides Texas. Well, I know they have it in Oklahoma, but I'm not sure if they sell it outside of Texas, Oklahoma, and neighboring states, but it is very, very good. I've been using it for years. And then I'm serving a side salad, very similar to the one that I made the other day. And then we are having loaded mashed potatoes. I had some leftover mashed potatoes. And um, so I decided to use them instead of making baked potatoes. I just added some cheddar cheese, green onions, and chopped cooked bacon. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am making a quick stir fry with some things that I already had on hand. So in my freezer, I had this Korean barbecue, this actually, Chicken bulgogi, Korean style barbecue in my freezer that I picked up from HEB a while ago. And I've got it frying up right now in my skillet to get it nice and brown. I'm gonna be using these yakisoba noodles that I have made several times on our channel. I'm gonna be using all three um, packages of noodles and the seasoning that goes with it. I've got some green pat cabbage that I'm gonna chop up and use. And then also I'm gonna be using some of these green onions as well and then I'm going to fry up some egg rolls that I will show you in just a little bit that I got from H Mart, which is a Korean grocery store. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. I just combined everything in a large skillet and Howard and I both tried this chicken and it's really not that good. So I'm glad I was able to doctor it up and add it to something else. And then these are the spring rolls that I made, vegetable spring, vegetable spring rolls, excuse me. And this is the name of the company. You get 20 of them in this box. And I think these were like $7 and some change. I did deep fry them in my little fry daddy outside. And here they are. I like them. Howard said he's undecided. I think they taste pretty good. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we will see y'all next time. 
Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having pizza night and I had everything in my freezer ready to go. So we made three different pizzas. Howard is using one of these flatbreads right here. And then I am using the ultra, ultra thin and crispy pizza crust from HEB, which is a grocery store in Texas. And then Harrison, he also made a little pizza with a little mini ultra thin and crispy pizza crust. So let me show you, this is Harrison's. He made it himself and I've already baked it because it's, uh, it's dinner time. So he wants to eat, he's not gonna wait around on us. And then for the pizzas, I made some pork sausage. We used some mozzarella cheese that I had in the freezer, um, pepperoni, I sliced up some onions. We had some um, spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce in the fridge that I needed to use up. We also used this pizza seasoning. And so this is Howard's pizza. He likes to bake his directly on the, well, he likes to bake his on the pan. He doesn't like to bake it directly on the oven rack because he likes a softer crust. And so on his pizza, he's got the sauce, onions, cheese, of course, we had some leftover meatballs in the fridge that he added to his. He's got sausage and pepperoni um, and some of the pizza seasoning as well. And then this is my pizza and I just have sausage, onions, um, the sauce of course, and the pizza seasoning. So I will show you what each pizza looks like. Well, I guess Howard's pizza and my pizza looks like when it comes out of the oven. Okay, so here is Howard's pizza hot out of the oven. And next up, I'll show you mine. Okay, and here is my pizza hot out of the oven. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.